All right, model F2, F3 models, um, the electric motor division, F2, F3 models, operating manual, General Motors, locomotive, electric motor division, General Motors Corporation, LaGrange, Illinois, USA, page blank. All right, no more than 15, 1946, I think. Um, the uh, Delaware, Lackawanna, Western Railroad Company, diesel freight locomotives, EMD 711763, number 635A and B, 656A and B, 605A, B, and C, 606A, B, and C, operating manual number 2302, General Motors, Motors Locomotive Engine, Electric Motor Division, General Motors Corporation, LaGrange, Illinois, USA. All right, this says your uh, 10 foot 7 inch overhand hand handles, 9 foot 10 over post. The lights are 23, 21, 27, 35 is a cab oh, a door, 14 and a half, 14 and a half foot um, to the 14 foot and a half inch to the bottom of the, the top of the motor, 15 foot to the top of the lights. Alright, then you shows your um, left side view, top view, um, right side view, left side view, and of these different. Alright, section one. The freight lo locomotive consists of one or more of the um, units rated at 1,350 pound horsepower each of the units with the, with the cabin known of the A units, those with the cab B units, so each of the units with a one cylinder, 16 cylinder diesel engine, direct current generator, and AC alternator, four traction motors for each of the power plant with the power is distributed with the motor, traction motor with the mounted on the truck, the traction motors are geared with the axle per spur gear, units are electronically ind independent with each of the exempt of the certain low, low, low voltage wiring, all units have batteries are independent each of other for, them, uh, for their service, the engine v -type with a 45 degree angle with the between the banks have a compression ratio of 16 to 1 solid unit injection employed. There being injectors certainly located at each cylinder head. The engine has speed with the rating of 275 to 800 RPM. The speed is controlled by the electromagnetic governor controlled control which is operated with the engineers throttle in the ways in this way the engines of the locomotive of two or more units are controlled simultaneously. Each notch for the engine throttle change with the engine speed app. Section 2. Um, look, precautions before starting. Check the position of all the valves. Drain the valve of the engine. The engine cooling below the oil system. Air reserve. Um, air reserve and the valve should be closed. The steam emission valve of the engine cooling system. Steam line valve should be closed. Check the valve, fuel supply gauge for the engine control instrumental panel. Check the oil engine cooling oil water site. Site glass engine cooling water tank. Check the lubricating oil supply. And diesel engine sump bayonet gauge for the left side of the engine oil plant pan. Engine governor site glass and with the governor air compressor for the bayonet gauge for the crankcase. Close the battery charge. Close battery charging switches and electrical control cabinet. Starting engines after layover. All distribution panels be sure that the control fuse of the, of the 400 ampere starting 800, 80 ampere control, 30 ampere the control, 15 ampere fuel pump, close main battery switch, close master control switch, close the light and training control speed governor switch as required. Engineer control station, place the throttle in the idle position, close the control, push button switch, close, to, close the fuel pump switch, set the PC switch at the engine, test water accumulation, so those open the cylinder test valve on each cylinder, play for the isolation switch in the start position, fuel the pump. Switch off and hold the governor power position in the shutdown position. Use the layover shaft manual cover control lever to turn the engine several revolutions. By pressing the engine start button, if you discharge the water fuel, prepare for the test valve. Do not start the engine. will cover the discharge is located correct. B, close the cylinder test valve. C, check the 10 amperage fuel power motor pump the fuel for the distribution panel. C, the isolation. See the isolation switches in the start position. Close the fuel pump switch for the engine control in an instrumental panel. The weight watch for the fuel sight in the glass of the near the engine with a centered bronze filter assembly on the front end of the well indicate the fuel is circulating with the engine fuel oil system. At pressure, um, press the engine start button and hold it in until the engine starts. If the engine fails to start after being rotated for 10 to 15 seconds, release the start button and acceleration can cause a certain. A certain can cause difficulty after lubrication. Oil pressure builds up. The place the isolation switch in run position allow the engine idle to under the water temperature can come to 125 degrees before moving the locomotive over the all electrical cabinet. Check the starting contacts and make sure the bolt and open 
and check the ground protective relay make certain it's not trip pumping up the main reserve air pressure if the locomotive has been standing inoperative the air reserve or air reservoirs have been drained check close all the drain cocks in the air system place the reserve lever in the normal position place the independent brake valve in the application position this will prevent the PCs from switching the tripping starting engine in unusual way but does not close the dinner fuel generator switch let the um let the engine idle let the engines idle for at least five minutes to move the locomotive release all the handbrake isolation switch engine control panel must be in the run position check the generator fuel switch in the engine control push button switch box place the reverse or level in the forward reverse position as required place the transition lever in the number one position place the foot by the dead man foot pedal with the release of the air brakes open throttle as required if the locomotive has been coupled to a train or train line must be pumped place the reverse or level in the normal position place the oil generator fuel switch and um and pull out the generator fuel switch place the num- transition level the number one open throttle the necessary in the third position after the air has been pumped the clove of the throttle and push the generator fuel switch in starting a train Due to some um, due to the unusual amount of the starting of the attractive effort of the locomotive, it is highly essential that there no, that the no attempt be used to start the train before the air brakes are complete. With the result of the test of the hundred car train in the desk indicated that the time has been um, maybe as such of the nine minutes after the brake has been started release of the recognized however that the normal one hundred car train should not require more than five minutes for the complete release of the brakes. If it is not if it is, if it is never necessary to move the throttle any other control hastily with each move to be thought um, out carefully and move made smoothly. With the high traffic effort starting the locomotive is seldom necessary to bunch the slack in the tight train will not start the loc at the air break trouble. Bunching the slacking starting with the jerking might 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 um, result in the damage of the couplers. Caution should be observed that out under ordinarily high handling with the throttle so the, the, the throttle stop of the button is not pressing the air with the close of the throttle. If this is done the engine will stop and cause the delay when starting. While when two A units were used to make of the locomotive the mask we you know, taken to leave the reservoir le- le- lever in control for the training A unit with the leverage in the left in control they must it might accidentally be moved causing the flash over the sliding of the moves about wheels or both proceed as general as follows place transition lever to number one position open the throttle whatever the um, position is necessary to start the locomotive begin with the moving of the handle with the, each of the position approximately two seconds or more than three seconds before moving in the next position see note below after the locomotive starting reduce throttle if necessary position which will, will keep the locomotive moving until all the slack is out if the throttle may be not in advance in any of the desired position when starting the train with a slack bunch of the partially bunch it should be seldom or be necessary to open the throttle beyond the number four position throughout four or on a four unit locomotive number five on a two unit and three unit locomotive if the locomotive fails starts the stops will take um, slack with the throttle position sticking the brakes may be the cause of difficulty if the slack is generous stretch and starting beyond um, start being made with the grade it may be necessary to advance the throttle position beyond the given the different locomotion of the unit combination judgments may be exercised in handling throttle in such case particularly the four unit locomotive to avoid pulling over the draw bar see note below the note uh, if the slipping over the curves indicate with the wheel slipping indicator flashing on and off, the ease off of the throttle until the slipping stops, then apply sand. Do not apply sand until after all the wheel slippage has been stopped. The throttle may be to advance for the position of the slipping took place and the throttle with the movement can be continue no slippage occurs. Operating reverse or lever. Under no condition should a reverse lever be moved when the while the locomotive is in motion. While leaving the locomotive, the reverse lever should be removed from the controller. If the two units that are used to make up the consist of the locomotive, the reverse lever should always be removed with the controller with the trailing A unit. There is no mechan- mechanical connection between the reverse lever and the control of the reverse drum and the electrical control cab. The reverse drum is operated with electronic control with the operating cab- operation cab. When the transition lever is into the off position, the reverse drums will not move to the forward or reverse the position with the reverse lever of the off. Uh, the re- reserve res- reverse lever is operated with the cab. The transition lever to number one position with the reverse drums will not change the reverse lever. If is moved unless the throttle is open, and the number one for the, um, for the reach for the care must be made. Um, you, the locomotive, is based. On, back down the train on the hill with a double heading with a diesel locomotive the next train with the gravity of the second locomotive second case lead locomotive is allowed to start the train the reverse of the arm with the diesel engine make up of the back of the position even when the reverse lever then forward to prevent these conditions the transition lever should be moved off throttle open to the run number one where the reverse lever is mo- moved to the forward after the coupling made is made all right, use the load and transition indicator meter. The transition indicating meter has a four green area with the dial number and the corresponding with the transition lever with the red, yellow overload area. Um, second figure seven, figure two, one, the green areas are separated by the small white area. The pointers move across the face of the meter with the locomotives is under power. Right, this is your load transition indicator with valves one, two, three, four. 
um, starting at zero um, to a thousand, and then the freight points, fifteen to nineteen pinions, eight, four, and two, and one miles an hour, yellow and, yellow and red. Each white area between the number of the green air, green areas represents the maximum current, continuous current of the traction mode of the transition left of the position with the corresponding with the green area to the left of the pointer as low as low. As long as the pointer and the white area of the transit lever may, may be in the point, and considering with the green area on either side of the transit lever must be also shifted to the post position corresponding with the green area with the pointer moved to the right and over the, any of the uh, any white area. All right, the overload area of the right, number one in green, indicate for the overload of the transition lever to number the one position of the diagonal line separating the yellow and red lines indicate the severity of the overload areas are marked off with the vertical lines representing with the maximum number of the miles which may be run with the meter indicating the various overloads without damage of the equipment. For example, the meter reading with a two mile mark over the locomotive may be operated with the maximum two miles without damage of electrical equipment. Um, no, any of the any I, I, on any greater series of the grades, it should be understood that the overload ratings are not inter interpreted as being consecutive ratings. That is, the locomotive must be under uh, not under any of the circumstances to be operated with a uh, one mile rating of, from a one mile. And then the, the two mile rating for the two miles. Then for the four mile rating of the four miles. If the transition meter point would exceed the short time rating of the indicator of the meter, then the tonnage must be reduced, increasing speed. Locomotive must always be started with the transition lever to number the one position. The throttle is open. The turn with the length training with a standstill with the, and the transition meter point with the wheel swing in the right with the indicating the high traction motor current. If the throttle is left in the position, the pointer will gradually move to the left and the trains being increased the pointer will react in the same manner with the succeeding advance of the throttle position while the throttle running eight position of the pointer moved to the left of the cross of the white area of the number one and number two green area of the transition lever should be moved in the number two position the procedure should be followed when the pointer across the each of the succeeding white area of the pointer should always be Numbered area of the corresponding with the position of the transition lever the throttle number run eight position in the area to the left of it in lower position of the lower position of the throttle. <laughs> Decreasing speed. If the train speed, um, train speed decreases uh, to a grade, the pointer will gradually move to the right. When the pointer crosses the white area, the transition lever must be moved to the position indicated. The button must be done regardless of the throttle position. No damage result in the failing of the advantage for the transition lever. The increase in speed of the electrical equipment will be overloaded. Series of damage might result if the lever is not backed off at the point indicated when the locomotive speed decreasing to the grade. The transition lever should not be the number one position before the locomotive comes to a stop. Operating transition lever. Transition lever located on the top of the control has four positions with a four connection with the traction motor. The definition of the transition is inserted at the time so that the term will not be confusing. The transition is the changing of the traction motor connection to be obtained with the desired locomotive traffic effort and speed. These positions are number one serials parallel. Number one and number four traction motors are connected with the series. And number two and number three motors are connected in series. And then no, if the number one position the transition lever, then the two groups are. Number one, and the position of the transition level and the two groups are connected in parallel. Number two, the serials parallel, shunt, same as the serials parallel, but the fields of each of the motors shunted by resistors. Number three, parallel. All four motors are connected to the parallel. Number, all, number four, parallel shunt. This is the parallel, but all, all so the same as parallel, but with the fields of each of the motors shunted by resistors. Your transition lever slide with the slot with the notch bottom of the top of the lever lug from the top of the bottom with the end gauge with the notches. So the lever can only move and move from one notch to the next by operative the manipulation of the lugs in the top of the in integral lever the while the lug on the bottom of it can be depressed in the, on, on, into the lever. Figure figure two two show the transition lever sectors. Okay. Figure two three to move the lever the one position over the next lever to lift it A while they held in position in the top slot B with move the direction desired with the lever held against the top and side of the upper slot C the lever lowered into D with the compressing bottom lug E the allowing the lever to move to the next position F. No, the transition lever can be moved to two to three position, three to two position while the throttle is in, in seventh or eighth position. So the transition lever shows A, B, and then C and then D and then E and then F. So you're going up, down, or to the side, um, then down to the center, and then in the middle, and then to the far right. Continuous tonnage rating figures for F2 locomotive gear ratios. Um, horsepower 54. Um, we'll skip that. 
Speed must not be with the rating with the tra- tonnage, but, the, but only with a close approximity, approximation with the running speed with the rated tonnage. With above the tonnage rating, all engines must be made with the flow up to it. Output. The engine is lower in a low power and the engine is offline. The tonnage should be adjusted in the proportion of the decreased power. In order to avoid overloading electrical equipment, it is important that the tonnage of the train be kept within the maximum rating of the limits of the locomotive success with special tonnage rating have the been supplied with the railroad engineer department of the electric model division. Your steam locomotive used as a helper in moving large ton train, large tonning trains with heavy, heavy the grade of ordinarily encountered with the mountain, mountainous terrain. The steam locomotive is generally used to help serve in such a movement that it must be done that the steam locomotive can, can and will pull as share of the load of the tonnage of the train, which except for the maximum continuous tonnage train with the diesel locomotive for the grade over the train is moved. The steam locomotive must be capable of pulling its share of the tonnage without damage or slipping. Steam locomotive used helpers often have the tonnage rating based on the speed lower than the continuous rate of speed of the, speed of the diesel locomotive and the uh, above speed of the diesel will be absorbed um, above the such speed of the diesel will be absorbed more than uh, than its appropriate share load of the, since the tonnage rating is based on a higher speed as a result the diesel engine may become overloaded and endeavoring maintains minimum speed with the speed um, rating of the rate and this will indicate the trend just indicating meter per, per pointer moving to the right number one green area are also overloaded area Unless these conditions are reduced in the diesel locomotive, the, allowing the train speed to drop within the steam of the locomotive to pick up the proper share of the tons and speed to grief the transition indicator. Pointer will move to the left. When the pointer re- reaches the number one green area, the steam locomotive will have to assume the enough tons to remove the overload of the de- from the diesel locomotive. The operation should continue with the throttle position. Should the transition meter in order to be necessary to handle the throttle of the reference speed with the indicator in, instead of the transition indicator in case of the approximate continuous speed of the rating on page 212, there should be U with the supply of the day. That on the table to reduce the throttle notch for the notch by each with the throttle reduction allow the train speed to become steady with the red of the speed indicator compared to the reading, re- reading of the figure with the ta- table op- op- opposite throttle position being U with the column, column corresponding with the gear ratio of the locomotive the train is speed is lower than the table figure reduce the throttle on another notch to repeat the U position corresponding with the speed line in the table the new throttle position continue the throttle reduction train speed with the cover the a equal or higher than speed reading continuing the operation with the throttle um, sp- position and then it has approximate continuous speed ratings miles per hour 40 inch wheels your throttle um, at, at different um, gear ratios 8765 Example of that you the table to give in the assume of the locomotive is one of the 12, 62 and a 15 gear ratio when the operation number one and through the throttle number eight the helper locomotive with the train speed to up to 11 miles an hour. This is under 14.5 mile an hour shown in the table of 16 to 15 gear ratio of the locomotive with the throttle number eight locomotive with the overload with the transition indicating the mirror of the we're working the pointer would be to the right of the number one green position 700 amp of the throttle is reduced to run number seven the speed drop to 10 miles an hour the helper locomotive is assumed the more load with the locomotive with the under low overloading since the table show show with 11 miles an hour the throttle is next to move the run take the speed become with the nine and miles an hour the check the continuous speed rating in the table operation should be continuing in the throttle position operating without with the with the outloading transition in indicator leader. Any time the transition meter does not function properly, the lead unit has been isolated. It may be necessary to make the transition reference to the locomotive speed. The table below should approximately speed at which transition should occur. All right, miles per hour at 40 inch wheel for the gear ratios. Um, movers from, the, from position posi- to position one to two. Um, maximum permissible speed. Uh, transition should be made in accordance with the reading of the transition meter should they never be made with the speed with the indicator except with the transition meter fail with the function of handling the locomotive under no condition for the trip of the reversal level of the meter move with the locomotive with the motion of the diesel locomotives with the pulling into the tra- train either with a full with or without helpful service of handle, handling the throttle and shifting with the transition lever that must be according with the instruction manual with leaving the locomotive the reverse lever should be removed from the controller if the two unit A Two A units used the making of the locomotive with the reverse level that should be always be removed from the controller tra- trailing, tra- 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 trailing cab. Um, the, the throttle must always be reduced until the all power trucks have been passed over the crossing to prevent the arcing with the brush for the communicator with the traction motor running with the throttle above the fifth every position, reducing throttle to the fifth position, running the fourth, fifth, and fifth position, reducing throttle to the one position.
Precautions during locomotive operation. Check for the engine cooling water temperature. Temperature should be maintained at 165 degrees plus or minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature is not range, report with the fact with the first maintenance point. Do not attempt to adjust for the shutter for instruction of the case for the hot engine alarm due to the excessive water temperature. Refer to the troubleshooting section 9. 2. Lubricating oil pressure should be 35 to 45 pounds hot oil at 800 RPM with the main bearing. Drop with the below 20 pounds at 800 RPM with the hot oil. Stop the engine and investigate. Um, the fuel site with this centered bronze filter assembly should be observed frequently. Check with the supply on the fuel oil, on fuel of the engine. Observe the auxiliary generator and with the electrical control cabin and periodically see that they are indicating the charge. Check the traction motor blow if the blower is not operating properly. Isolate with the engine until the condition is corrected. Six, the, the electric control air pressure should be 80 pounds plus or minus 3 pounds. Isolating stopping engine while the underpowered. If this becomes necessary to take the engine offline with the locomotive is operating well under the power, it should be done as followed. One, reduce the speed of the engine idle, delay the main shaft the control level to see the traction motor controls will not have it interpreted with the full traction motor play for the isolation switch in the start position check press, press the engine stop button until the engine stops Four, place the fuel pump switch in the opposite position of the power plant leading you in this isolated with locomotive is under the power of the transition meter will not function. Therefore, the transition to determine the speed indicator according to the figures given under the paragraph operating without load and transition indicator meter. Starting place engine on the line while the locomotive is under power. Uh, under power. One, starting engine is, un is usual in the usual way. See paragraphs four with the starting engine after layover in the section. Two, the after labor case, oil pressure builds with the place of the isolation switch run with the throttles over the third position the hold off the governor and injector lay linkage to the lay shaft manual cover the control level lever and to allow the engine to come up to speed gradually. Normal operating instruction number two, number two, two four brake valve the two four R R L L brake equipment the rotary valve that is installed along with the side. The independent brake valve, the four position of the valve, indicate with the raised lever, the passenger, passenger lap, freight, and freight lap along the freight train with the help of the zero valve should be set when the freight position and this will ensure the control of the emergency application of the short freight trains and passenger trains will be controlled the emergency if each of the not desired with the rotary air, rotor air valve that should be placed in the passenger position, the double heading cock with the lead unit, A unit should be placed in the live position with the handling point forward. This valve is situated with the filling piece of the portion at number two four for brake valve with the safety control cock situated the application proportion of the two four brake Brake valve should be in the on position as it will ensure the operation of all safe devices. Dead man foot pedal on the valve, locomotive over speed train control, and the valve of the band must be sealed if desired. Right, the, uh, the equipment included for the control the rel release for, um, feature with the full res uh, release cycle selector cock located on the left hand side of the, of the brake valve rotary valve seat. The cock handle is moved away from the engine air toward the lever for the MR cap of the cock body with the uh, air to the main reserve pressure of the supply with the chamber above the automatic rotary valve with the number 6 ET and number 8 ET equipment provided with the maximum rate of the brake pipe charge when the brake valve is releasing the bolt position of the overcharging of the possible selector cock is moved to the FV position and handling point toward the engineer at the air pressure control with a large capacity feed valve with the supply with the same chamber. When the selector valve control with the handle with the position automatic brake valve handle in the release position, the brake pipe recharge is obtained with the rate with the represent of the maximum of this possible. A cock located at the right hand side with the number 24 brake valve with the filling, filling the piece of the portion and cuts in and cuts out with the first third of the ear portion automatic brake handle further in the cock's in and handling point toward the engineer time relay safety control application length of the cock is out handling point towards the cab window. Time rate and the time control application is shorted. Where was I? Shortened. Um, a, at the control valve and the, the two cocks and one cap at the control valve with the charging change over the cock of the freight passenger position. The freight position changing, uh, charging the pressure chamber is slow when the passenger when in passenger position. I think we move on to the next page. Well, where did we go? Our charging the pressure of the staff of the dead engine cock will be closed with the live position, normal operation, open in a dead position, and in, in case the locomotive is being held with the dead end, the train, the cap of the, the situated with the rear of the control valve has two seconds with the graduate and direct apply with an independent release, which will be the gradually pass through the train, the direct the freight, freight and dir, 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 direct and freight train, the locomotive with the overspeed cut out with the overspeed control feature will be cut out with the close magnet valve of the air supply line of the three eighths of an inch cock out. Uh, Cut out cock on the air brake equipment rack. Dead man foot pedal. 
Should both of the brake valve handle for the, um, and the dead man foot pedal be placed in the release position when the boxer brakes are released? The severe application will result throughout the operation with the safety control valve oh, and the locomotive having the timely delay feature. A warning whistle on the brake valve will sound with it before the application is initiated. Automatic brake valve handle foot pedal with the depressor four to six pound with the application will be suppressed to release the safety control the application. Depress either the brake valve handle with the foot valve with the pedal with the automatic brake valve handle in the lap position until the application portion releases the application pipe gauge shown in the substantially reserve pressure, then move the automatic brake valve handle to the release position in a normal manner. Dead man cut out. The dead man cut out, safety cut out, and the safety control feature can be cut out by leaving the closing in the 3 8 of an inch cut out clock in the line of the rear air valve and is located in the air brake equipment rack. Towing a locomotive. The beach one, be sure if the reverse lever is in the neutral position of locomotives to tow to any of the train, the appreciable distance of reverse drum is must be placed in the normal position manually. Neutral position manually should be locked in the position door in a normal operational locking pin screw with the left side of the side of the reservoir to lock with the reverse turn during the neutral. The pin should be removed with the insert of the hole with the opposite side of the turning of the drum neutral position pin with they engage the hole in the shaft. Two, the transition lever must be moved to the start off position before the control pusher button is pulled uh, pulled out. An isolation switch must be in the start position necessary to keep the engines idling. Any of the reason for the towing locomotive, the fuel pump, the control switch should be left in the closed position. Four, for setting the air brake equipment, see the air brake manufacturer isolation in, uh, manufacturer instruction bulletin. All right, changing operating hands. With the consisting of locomotive, including two A units of the following procedure should be followed within the changing from one operating end to the opposite end. But the remove of the reverse the lever. Um, with the dead man control pad depressed to release the independent brake and place the independent brake valve in the handle the release position. Move the full surface of the automatic brake application. Um, close the double heading cock. Clear release the dead head, dead man control pedal. Move the rotary valve to the lap position. Move the automatic brake valve handle in the running position. Move the handle from the brake. Um, Valve. Remove the independent brake valve handle to the release position. Open all the switches of the control push and bu push button box. Close the switch lock. Produce, produce, um, proceed to the cab um, opposite end with the check of the PC switch. And that reset the necessary. Open the switch lock on, lock on control. Lock on control, push button, switch box, close for the control, fuel pump switches, such as other switches that are, ne are necessary. Insert reverse le lever, automatic brake valve handle, independent air brake handle, move, mo move the rotor valve to the proper operation position, move the independent brake valve handle to the full application position, open the double heading. Um, clock slowly, causing the 5 to 10 second mid position when ready to move the locomotive, dead press the dead man control pedal, making automatic brake valve handle and move, move independent brake valve handle to the release position, stopping the engine preparation terminal layover. At the engine's control station, um, close the throttle to idle position, move the transition lever to the off the place to reverse the neutral position, move the lever from the controller. One of the open the generator fields, do not open the control switch. If the possible, shut down the engine with a stop button, you unless the control push button is closed. At the engine, place the isolation switch in the start position, place the engine stop button and hold it to the engine stop, place the fuel pump. Switch in the opposition, open the cylinder test valve on the engine. If the engine will not stop button unless the electric control air pressure is up to 80 pounds. Locomotive protect device, pneumatic control switch. Pneumatic control switch is air operated with electrical switch located on the right hand side of the cab below the window. The purpose of the switch is to reduce the power of the locomotive, bring the speed of the engines to idle with either the following the brake air brake application. Please place a dead man train control locomotive with lower speed over the emergency brake application. The automatic brake valve must be in the lap position until the application um, brake pipe, pipe air pressure builds up to the normal. The switch and the manual reset button must be pulled, be pulled out. After the brakes have been released, the switch is referred to as the PC switch or the pneumatic control switch. Pneumatic control switch operates with the fuel pump control circuit on all units that stopping the fuel with the pump, the de-energy of the master e valve of the unit for reducing the engine speed with the idle. After the short period of the, of the time, the engine will start with the, of the fuel pump um, fuel to stop de-energy of the fuel pump contact for the uh, control circuit with the radiator cooling fan motors cooling system. Shutters cover the fans to stop with the shutters to close. Engines will stop with the pneumatic control switch opens well and the throttle is in the fifth or sixth position. All right, emergency operation of the pneumatic control switch. The brake pipe at the van with the emergency rate of the piston, emergency position with the control old valve with the emergency position with the connecting pipe with the auxiliary reservoir with the pipe is connected with the double check valve with which is determined with the pneumatic control switch with the main reserve with the primary operator with the pneumatic control switch with the application made with the ME application and valve. When the pneumatic control switch is operated with the emergency ports with the control valve with the auxiliary reservoir is you the the auxiliary reservoir is normally charged with a feed valve pressure. The pneumatic control switch is operated with a trip of the 40 pounds of air pressure to reset the 20 pounds operation wheel slip indicator. 
whenever one pair of the wheels um, or more or, or one one pair of wheels slip, um, one or more truck for the locomotive of the wheel slip indicator on the engine instrument panel will light to stop the, the slippage. You can ease off the throttle one or more positions after the wheel stops slipping. The indicated light going light going out, staying out, and the throttle may be open in desired position. Light may will not burn continuously when the wheels when will not burn continuously when the wheels slip. Because the wheels will not slip continuously, the connection of the wheel slip relay with the power plant is such that the power um, power automatically reduces when the wheels slip. Therefore, the wheels w the wheels will slip and then um, stop and slip again and stop at the once of the set, once a second. Will 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 there be with it? Well, when there is wheel slipping, indicated the probably with one side of the wheel with the slipping unless with the rail condition extremely bad on the locomotive with any of the traction motors to exert with the traction of effort independently. The notation outlined below above the wheel slip indication usually means the partial dependent temporary local loss of the um, effect of tractive effort. If it is there unnecessary for the standing except with the word traction condition of the make the before, before applying the sand be sure that the relief of the throttle until the wheel slip light stops flashing and it should be remembered that the sand injurious uh, is injurious to set traction motors associated equipment. If one pair of the wheels is locked out due to the bro bro broken pinion of the axle, give the amateur with the shaft of the frozen from the bearings, um, the wheel slipping again, the signal will light with the stay off the long is current with the supply of the motor. The, the, when the true exempt is the case of a very low locomotive speed due to the fact that the different, different difference of the potential between the traction motor and the choir with the, make the wheel slip with the function with the motor circle with the serials panel parallel position. Therefore, the locomotive speed must be great enough to bring the difference with the potential any of the wheel slipping that came to be governed. You'll be given during the transition of the serial parallel shunt to the parallel, um, parallel shunt to parallel. The wheel slip the relay will pick up the cut of the wheel slip light to flash. This does not indicate the wheels are slipping. Uh, this does, this is not an indication the wheels are slipping. Wheel slip relay will give the wheel slip indication both serial, 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 series parallel and parallel operation. All right, your low oil pressure alarm switch. The oil, the switch connected with the engine lubricating oil system, below our oil supply line, in such a white manner with a failure of the lubricating oil pressure will cover the switch to contact to open it. When the contacts open, the master of E magnet valve will be de energized, shutting off the air supply with electron magnet governor control, bringing the engine to idle with the low oil pressure signal switch with the, with the light and the alarm bells will ring and all the units should occur with the no down attempt to load the, the engine until the case of low oil pressure has been located with the corrected. The alarm switch will not give it the low oil pressure when the, when the excellent switch and switch in the start position. The lube oil suction alarm switch. Lube oil suction alarm switch is vacuum is a vacuum um, switch connected with the suction side of the lube oil and piston cooling oil pump. The electrically connected with the master e valve lube oil pressure single alarm circuit to all, of, all in all units. All purpose of the switch is to reduce the engine speed with the same type of the engineer energy of lube oil pressure swing a single alarm circuit. But there should be pump with oil pump suction reach of the valve with the switch is set with the operate successful oil pump suction result clog the clog strainer. Operation of the switch most commonly occurred with the full engine, full engine, um, full engine speed with the, uh, the pump section increase with the speed with the increase with the speed with the engine speed. The switch will then open within the master valve with the um, circuit with the close with the low oil pressure with the swing swing alarm circuit with the with the engine speed decrease with the energy with the uh, e valve pumping section will also decrease with the line with the suction to be reset with the re-energized and the e valve opening the loop oil low oil pressure sling sling signal alarm circuit with the engine will speed with the up until the pump suction again the, it becomes successful with the Cycle will repeat. If this occurs, the engine should be isolated. No attempt to made the made the load until the cover of the lube oil section suction alarm is located and uh, located and corrected. Or your engine overspeed trip. Um, the flyway, uh, flyway, uh, flyway weight over the engine cam camshafts will operate with the small cams under the injector rocker arms to raise the rocker arm and the flyer for the camshaft to prevent the injection of the fuel. The trip over operates with approximately 880. Uh, RPM for the engine overspeed trip and kill for the operating with the loft of the electrical load with the, uh, such as wheel slips the ground relay trip with the operating overspeed trip and reset lever located on the front end of the engine directly behind the engine governor. If the trip's overset, they can be reset the turning of the lever and into the counterclockwise direction until it latches the engine high temperature. Alarm switch. The thermal switch of the located alongside the engine control instrumental panel with the connects with the one thermal element in the water outlet manifold of the engine the water temperature with the 208 degrees Fahrenheit switch that closes. Lights on the high engine single light with the energy of the single relay with the rings of the alarm bell, the tube leading of the element switch must not be kinked or dented. All right, no AC voltage alarm. The no AC voltage um, relay is connected across one phase of the AC alternator at 235 RPM. This relay will pick up, 
pick up and will remain energized until the belt drops below with the predetermined set with the drops out with the ring with the alarm bell unit with the light blue with the, uh, in the unit effect of reducing the idle speed relay will be energized wherever the voltage drop the belt will fairly to adapt the alternator fuel excitation will start the um, supply of the auxiliary generator no the no AC voltage alarm will not operate with the isolation switch in the start the synth attraction motors are cooled with the AC induction put motor blower failure the alternating coolant will result with the burn badly damaged traction motor power continuous supplied all right, your locomotive overspeed. With the maximum recommended locomotive speed, with um, has been exceeded, with the magnet valve becomes the energized through the opening of the micro switch with the speed recorder. Um, with the landing of the pipe, the connect with the upper portion of the M application of the valve with the close of the application piston upward with the connecting the main reserve pressure with the pump, the pneumatic control switch. Open the pneumatic control switch with the ground protective relay. A ground occurred with a high voltage shift of the ground protective relay in the electrical control cabinet with the open of the battery front field contact with the bring the engine to the idle with the de-energize of the master E valve. Sh um, should this occur, will isolate the engine of the reset of the valve with the reset of the relay manual to the signal with the reset of the lever to the left when the relay is tripped with the white needle will then point with the red indicator with the low, yellow indicator with the normal position play for the engine black line with the relay, re relay re re repeatedly open with the engine speed is increased the power plant must be isolated. Or the knife switch is electrical control cabinet rendered the ground protective with the relay and inoperative when it's open. This switch is provided that during certain electrical testing during the per maintenance operation should not be open on the road except under certain circumstances authorized defined indefinite instruction for the particular road on which the locomotive is operating. The ground and low, vol water, low voltage system was also tripped the relay when the engine is being started. The engine will stop if the relay opens when the throttle in the fifth and sixth position. Alright, your thro thro thermal overload protective device. Each cooling fan with the motor can contain containers with the protective device to prevent overload current with the fan motor operating kind of circuit. In this case, such overload thermal element and melts and allow the ratchet device to open with the controlling uh, contr contact or operating circuit with the stop of the fan motor. The issue then occurred with allow the few minutes to allow the cool solidify before pushing the in reset button. Like if the contact trips the second time within a short interval, do not attempt to reset. This should be reported to the first maintenance point. Or Section 3 cooling system, we're going to cut the tape.